Hey Pisces! Thanks for showing up to watch your monthly video. So this is for May 2018, Pisces Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. If you don't know what your um, moon sign is or your rising sign, you can read about that in the description box below. So we're going to do a general theme for the month. What's up for your money? What's up for career? How other people are going to either improve your month or try to ruin it. And then what you can do in order to have the happiest month ever. And then I'm going to give you your power crystal of the month for those of you who like to use crystals in your um, spirituality or in trying to manifest wonderful things into your life. So let's get started. I keep forgetting to mention this, but for those of you who um, don't know, if you go to my website, and there's like a link in the description box below, you can sign up to win a free reading every month. And so like you just sign up once and you're automatically in the drawing forever style. And so I just wanted to let you know. Okay, Pisces, your general theme for the month. Changing your reactions. Now this is, I don't know if you can see that. Okay. So this is um, a very important card based on the colors here that are represented. This is about not only our throat chakra with the blue, but like an intuitive knowing of how our responses should be. So, you know, just because you have like a subconscious habit, like eye rolling or something like that, doesn't necessarily mean that it's the appropriate way to react, right? We might be doing these things without even noticing, and so we want to be able to check ourselves before we wreck ourselves. Um, we want to make sure that we are monitoring our reactions, whether those are through body language, the things that we say, so on and so forth, okay? Now, that's our theme for the month. Now let's see how that correlates to our money. And they're saying, you know, this month it doesn't seem like money is really coming in in droves. Like new ideas aren't coming easily um, or maybe new campaigns that you started for your business aren't necessarily paying off right away. Your relationship to money this month is not necessarily at its peak. Now, it doesn't mean it's horrible, right? But it's just not at its peak. So what they're saying here is um, if you're very conscious of your reaction to lack, you know, if you're very focused on what you want as opposed to what you don't want or what you're afraid of, fulfillment of wishes will come. Now, I want you to notice that that's a green colored card. So it's all about the heart chakra, feeling love, like a, a little life hack. Oh, this is so cute because I'm two minutes and 22 seconds into the video. So that's a number message from your spirit guide saying, you know, everything is harmonious and it's the way that it should be. And you'll be coming into balance in regards to your money should you put the feeling behind it. So when you're sitting here at your computer and you're like typing away, um, paying your bills, if you can express love when you're doing that, which I know it's hard, right? But if you can like, oh, there's more where that came from. I'm so happy I paid my bills. I'm in a gratitude journal that I just paid my phone bill. Hell yes. Um, the more joy that you put into the exchanging of money, the more money that you will receive. Sounds sounds crazy, right? But it's true. It's actually super true. Um, and so that's what they wanted to tell you about money. What else do you need to know about money in general for the month of May? And they're saying, um, the thing is, is it's about tweaking this month what already exists. It's about making those things better. It's not about new money schemes. Like new ideas are not to be implemented this month. Keep doing what you're doing. Just change it a little bit to make it better. Because what you have set up isn't broken. Okay, so there's that. Like, and so if you're watching this, um, ask or like, I guess what I want to say here is go, don't go changing your whole budget, like, and and redoing it. Basically, just make a few little changes here and there. Okay. Now, what I was going to say next is about career. If you're watching the money aspect and you're wondering about career, um, that's not what I was talking about. I was talking about your money in general. Now let's talk about career. 
Okay, so what they're saying is you might not have enough patience <laughs> and you might not be planning enough in regards to your career. And part of that is just like this feeling of like uncertainty. What they're saying here is like you have a lot of fear surrounding your career just naturally in the month of May, okay? But this is an eight number, okay? So if you're focused on those fears, what's going to happen is you're going to build up more and more of those and you're going to start to feel stressed and you're going to start to feel trapped in a job that maybe you don't like or that doesn't seem like it's um, really leading to a promotion or anything like that. So ultimately, how are you going to turn this around? And they're saying, um, well, you know, you feel like maybe you have to keep your mouth shut. Like if you complain too much at work, that sort of a thing that people are going to notice and then maybe you get fired or maybe you're not up for that promotion anymore. And they're like, that's exactly right. This is why that whole concept of monitoring your behaviors or your subconscious reaction to things is so important. It'll be exceptionally important in regards to career and um, business contacts, things like that. So what's going on with other people this month? How will they improve it for you? And they're saying um, they can help you get through a lot of obstacles and challenges. This is a number five card. And fives are all about discord, disharmony, miscommunications, things like that. So it'll be awesome to have somebody sort of on your side to sort of coach you through the challenges that you will be facing. Um, other people might be putting challenges or obstacles in your way, but they are things that you can surpass. It will be easier, though, if you are monitoring your reaction, as I first mentioned. Um, how are people going to ruin your month? And it's like, honestly, they kind of can't. You have some sort of a protective shield around you. So like, you know, if you work with crystals, maybe you have a dark one, um, like a hematite or something, that you're using in order to repel that sort of invasive energy. So good for you. Keep it up. Um, what should you be focused on spiritually this month in order to ensure the happiest month ever? And they're like, exercise, actually. Exercise is going to benefit you in so many ways. It'll help you to clear your mind. It will help you um, just to feel better in general, like in your body. And if your body feels better, you're mentally going to feel better and more optimistic and happy. Um, so now let's talk about your crystal of the month. The crystal of the month that you have is Aqua Aura. So it comes in two different forms. We've got like a cluster. Isn't that beautiful? I just love it. And then we've got like a little channeled point. I love this one because um, with these little, I don't know if you can see those, but you see these little things here. They call them um, triggers. So you can use these to direct energy. If I don't know if you've seen, I don't know how many crystal videos I have that are public on YouTube right now. Um, a lot of those are for Patreon subscribers, or if you purchase crystals from me, you get access to that playlist. But um, there's many things that you can do with crystals to direct energies to achieve goals that you want. So what does this crystal do? Um, it's very helpful in sort of communicating any emotional issues that you have. And it does sound like, based on our reading, we do have an ally to help us get through any obstacles that we're facing this month. So that's fantastic. This will help you to communicate and avoid those chasms that I said were potentially going to come into your way. Um, it's good for purifying rooms, um, for purifying your own aura. It creates harmony and, um, like I said, better communication, right? Uh, which I sort of need. Actually, <coughs> these crystals are cleansed and um, charged before I send them out to you. And I can tell that they're strong. They're already working because I've had a cold. That's why your videos are late. And it's already like kind of moving stuff through here. Anyway, um, it does work on your throat chakra and any respiratory illnesses. Um, it'll activate your third eye, which is interesting as it's a blue stone. But there are many blue stones that really do that. It'll help you to find your focus and be really clear in your thinking, which you probably need when you're sort of redoing the things that already exist in regards to your money, just changing them up a little bit, finding the error, turning it around, fixing it, making it better, if that makes sense. It helps you also to develop your own clairvoyance, your clairaudience, things like that. So anyway, there's a lot of shit that these crystals do. If you're interested in those, there's a link in the description box below and I will see you soon for love readings. 
Thanks so much for watching this video and getting all the way to the end of it. I really appreciate your support. If you are interested in other videos, click here. If you are interested in subscribing, go ahead and click here. Hit that notification bell so that you get alerted to when new videos come out and also when I do surprise live streams. And then if you're interested in winning a free 20 minute video uh, reading personally every month, go ahead and click right here. Mwah!